Hello and welcome to Indulge with Itty. My name is Itty Dahl and I make food and lifestyle videos for your viewing pleasure. If it's your first time here in my channel, do consider subscribing and becoming an honorary indulger. If you enjoy simple, straightforward and delicious cooking, then you have arrived at the right place. It's a beautiful day out here in Melbourne, Australia, and I could not skip out on the opportunity to cook outdoors. So join me today as I demonstrate how I make Ghanaian shito. Thank you so much for watching. Let's get into the video. So to make shito, you're going to need a whole lot of onions. I've used a mixture of white and red onions. You will also need some scotch bonnets, garlic and ginger. Seasoning of your choice. I've used shrimp seasoning and shito seasoning. You will also need dry shrimp skin, dry shrimp and headless dried anchovies. I found all of these ingredients at the local Chinese grocery store. You will also need some vegetable oil. I used 5.5 litres in total, but use the oil according to your preferences. So to begin with, I put some oil in a blender. I added the garlic, the chopped ginger and, and scotch bonnet. I blended it to a, a pulp. I'm somewhat chunky because I do like to have some texture in my shito. So I repeat this process until all my onions are blended. Next, I prepare the dried fish and shrimp. As you can see, I use the food processor to grind each of them into a somewhat chunky consistency. Once again, I like to see bits and pieces of the shrimp and the fish in the shito. So next, I have preheated some oil and added the onions into it. I just stir it all together and fry until it starts to appear more transparent. After about 20 minutes of frying, I added the tomato paste. Now this step is optional, but this is how I was taught by my mother, so I always do this when I prepare shito. So stir the tomato in and allow it to fry with the onions. So next I'm going to add some crushed chili flakes. I purchased these flakes from an Indian store. Unfortunately they were not as hot as we expected. Normally we use bird's eye chili flakes but they were not available on this day. But do add the chili flakes according to your, your heat tolerance. Next I'm adding dried anchovies I will stir that in really well and then follow up with the dried shrimp skin so you'll notice that the oil would suddenly disappear the dried fish and shrimp will absorb all that oil so you'll see me here adding some extra oil um, just to hydrate it again so making shito takes a lot of oil. This is because we're trying to cook down the onions to reduce the moisture. To reduce the moisture. Um, so now I'm adding the shrimp. I'm gonna stir it in really well. It gets hard to stir at this point because it's very thick in consistency. So yeah, it takes a lot of time to prepare shito. It's something that I like to spend the whole day doing, so I only prepare it when I have time. So I've added more oil once again. <laughs> Don't be discouraged, it works out at the end. So stir it in and allow it to fry. Keep checking it every now and then to avoid um, getting some burnt shito at the bottom of the pot. So next I'm adding my seasoning powders. So I've used this seasoning powder which I purchased in Ghana last year. It's specifically for shito and I've also added some shrimp seasoning powder. So I usually go a little easy with the seasoning because 
the dry fish actually naturally has a salty taste. So just adjust it according to your own tastes. And I did also put a, uh, a very liberal pinch of salt. So cover, cover the chiton and allow it to just simmer. And don't forget to stir every now and then to avoid burning. As you can see, the color is changing, it's becoming darker. So if you do like your chiton somewhat brown and not on the darker end of the spectrum, then you can turn off the heat at this stage. But my family and I tend to enjoy it much darker than this. So as you'll see, um, the chiton is much darker here and I've managed to make about four kilograms of chiton. So for us, the glass container is going into the fridge and the yogurt container is going straight into the freezer. So this chiton should last us a few months. Um, we'll enjoy our kenke, our wacky, our jollof rice, you name it. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to engaging with you in the comments section. Please comment, like, share and subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video.